Today we'll be looking at creating and managing a class in CloudShare. If you don't already have this feature, please contact sales at cloudshare.com for more details. We'll provide the class name and select the project and then blueprint or environment that you'll want the class to have. Next, select the trainer and then the policy or the runtime of how long you want the class to last. The policy will set how long you want the class to run, and you can create a new one if there is not one available for you yet. In this case, we're just going to use a standard four-hour policy. Next, select the start date, set the time, then select the time zone for where the class is being held, and here you can see it's going to run for four hours. Next, we'll set the passphrase and then the number of students that you'll want to join. You can also allow open access for any student that decides to join on the day. Here you can edit the email that gets sent out to all your students and feel free to customize this however you might need. We've provided placeholders at the bottom to drop in text to the main body. Click the eye icon to see a preview of what the email will look like. Then click create class. Your class is now created, but you can still edit a few of the options available. You can also edit the start date of the class, but the end date is tied to the length of the policy. Now you want to add students to the class. You can do this one by one, or as a bulk upload from a CSV file. Select all the students you want to invite, and then send the invitation. Now we'll look at a class I prepared earlier. As you can see, we have three students already logged in and working, so let's have a look at the Instructor Console. This view gives the instructor a live screen of each student's active VM. Enlarge the view from the top right. Each environment has a submenu to dive into the student's VM for an over-the-shoulder view. From here, the instructor can share screens with the student and help keep them on track. The training UI also includes a class chat and notification system. You can send group messages from here. And the student will receive a chat notification on their side. In the top right, the instructor can manage assistance requests. And then also send messages to those individual students. From the left-hand menu, the instructor can individually or in bulk manage student environments and either delete, revert, or suspend environments. And that's how you create and manage classes.